Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest. .com. And today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful little cross out of stiff white felt that you can find either at Hobby Lobby or um, Michael's. Now the felt that I used today was from Hobby Lobby. So I'll show you exactly how to make this. It was very easy. It was just a matter of having some patience for the drying time. And that was pretty much it. So let's move on to the video and I'll show you how I put everything together. Okay, so to start I do have a cross ornament pattern for you and I also wrote down an easy way to make your cardboard cross. Okay, all you have to do is go to happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and when the page opens you're going to see um, something that says here are all my patterns in one place for you to print so all you do is scroll down to the very bottom of that list and I'll have the link for you and it will say um, cross ornament pattern and you just click on that link and print it out so make sure that it says 100 percent um, at the top when you go to print it out okay so that way it will print out full size like this okay and um, so next we're going to need stiff white felt <clears throat> now this is the Michaels stiff white felt and it's a lot thicker than the Hobby Lobby. So when you go to cut your cross out, you'll only need one cross, okay, um, cut out from this because it is so much thicker. Now this is the Hobby Lobby stiff white felt and this is much thinner, but it's okay because you can still use this. I just took my cardboard pattern and traced two crosses and we're just going to glue one on top of the other okay and we'll put a little bit of um, beacon fabri tac on here okay and allow that to dry and then you'll be just fine so if you have this thinner um, stiff felt don't run out and think that you have to buy the thicker felt at Michaels because it'll work just as well and so that's what I'm using today the thinner one okay all right so um, I used a very sharp pencil to trace around my cardboard on here the ideal thing is a mechanical pencil but I could not find any today so I just sharpened a regular pencil made sure it was nice and sharp and um, I love cutting the stiff felt. It cuts just like butter. It's great. And so just going around cutting it like this. It's easier to make clean cuts like this, just move the cross don't worry about the um, pencil marks because when we start um, putting the glitter on and everything you'll see how well it'll cover it. Okay, so I just I'm going to glue these two together like that. If you need to trim it up a little, that's fine. But glue it on first and then I'll just go in and just trim it up a little like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that and um, then I'll be back. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is Deco Art Americana Triple Thick, and it's a brilliant brush on gloss glaze. 
they carry this at Hobby Lobby and I know they have it on Amazon as well you can purchase these as small as two ounce little bottles or as large as these eight ounce jars okay and I like the eight ounce jars because I find that it's more economical unless you're planning on only making um, you know a few ornaments okay now um, I went ahead and glued this together with a beacon fabric tack and it's it's nice and um, stiff I allowed that to dry so before we start decorating we're going to um, place some of this glaze just like this in the front. We're just going to make a very thin layer, a very thin skin. And the reason why we need this skin is when we start actually decorating this and putting quite a bit of glaze on this, we don't want it to soak in to the felt. So if we put this little skin on and allow it to dry, you won't have that issue. Okay? So this is a really important step so please don't skip this okay now if you're planning on decorating both sides of your cross um, do one side allow it to dry and then do the other side and allow it to dry I'm only doing one side of the cross I think it'll look just as pretty And I'll show you how I can decorate the back too without putting another layer of glitter on it to make it look really nice. Okay? Alright, so I'm make that real thin skin. Now I have a little secret that I use. I use a tabletop fan. <laughs> and this will allow the skin on here to dry uh, a lot quicker. Okay, so I'm going to set this near my tabletop fan and I'm going to allow it to dry. I'm thinking that it should be dry in about mm, maybe six hours because we just put a very thin layer on, see? Super thin. I don't know if you can see it. And once it dries turn it over on the back, do the same thing, make a thin skin and allow that to dry as well and just let this sit overnight and the next morning you'll have um, have this all ready to go and then the fun part starts okay so we'll be back okay so as you can see this is completely dried so um, before we start, we're going to mix some glitter. And so the first thing I purchased were these two jars of beautiful glitter for under $3 a jar at Walmart. And this one is called Winterfest, and this one is called Snowy Surprise. And what I love about this is that they are different cuts of glitter in one jar, okay? Now, so we're going to start with the snowy surprise, okay? I'm going to put a little bit in here. I want this mainly white with just a touch of the blue, okay? And if I have extra, I'll just put it in a little um, Dollar Tree jar. They have those little glass jars that usually put beads in or something like that and um, I can just put it in there for another project. Okay so now I'm going to put some of the Winterfest in and since this is very bright I'm just going to put a touch of that in there. Well I think about like that. Let me stir this around with my little plastic utensil here. Yeah, I think that's just about right. So the next thing that we're going to put in is some ultra fine iridescent glitter. And this bag was 
gifted to me by a very sweet lady on my Facebook channel. So I'm just going to put some of this in here because you really do need um, some ultra fine glitter in here as well. And I'm going to stir that up. And look how pretty. Look at that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in just a touch of the real German glass glitter, okay? And this is 70 grit. Now, I have a jar full, but um, our friend Debbie from Sugar, Sugar Camp Cottage, <laughs> um, she sells these by the baggies, and um, she has a store on eBay. She goes by the seller name Reed Reed, but um, her... Her email is sugarcamp at live.com. But I'll make sure to put a link to her store uh, on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com. And all you have to do is just go to where my project is. You'll have to scroll down a little, and um, it'll be right there for you. Okay? And if you live in a foreign country, you can purchase diamond dust from Amazon. And it's the same type of thing, okay? So I'm putting in just a scoop of that. Because honestly, you really don't need any more than a scoop. Okay, so I'm just mixing it up. And then I'm going to get my, um, i put this in here too. Oops, sorry, I'm talking to myself again. Okay. Stir, 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 stir. Okay, now we're going to take our triple thick. Open that up. Now you can use a brush, paint brush, to do this. I'm just using my finger and yes this does come off with soapy warm water and I use a nail brush. You can get nail brushes at the Dollar Tree in the cosmetic section. Okay here we go. Now as you can see I'm being quite generous with it and I'm making sure I spread it out to the very edge. Okay, Because we don't want it to look like it has um, glitter in the middle and then nothing along the edge here. Alright, and this is going to take a couple of days to dry, but let me tell you, it is so worth it because the outcome is just beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to set that down for just a moment. And I'm going to get a baby wipe so I can clean that gobbledygook off my fingers. <laughs> okay. Then I won't have to wash as much off, too. Okay. So I'm going to set this right here. And... And I'm going to start shaking. And I'm just pouring it on top. And anything I have left, like I said, I'll just save for another across or a different project. And I'm going to just kind of pat it down, tap it down a little bit. Just to get it pushed in the glue. Or not the glue, but the glaze. Okay. So now I'm going to pick this up. Now I'm not going to shake it. 
I'm going to just turn it over one time. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of go around the edges, clean off any fuzzy glitter that might be sticking over the edge. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is you can either take a popsicle stick or you can use your finger because I want to make sure that all the glass glitter is lying flat. We don't want anything sticking up. And this feels like it's okay. Alright. So it's a little murky right now because of the, um, the triple thick. But once this dries completely, you are going to see how beautiful it is. Okay. So I'm going to allow this to dry. And it might take 24 hours. It might take 48 hours. We'll just have to see. Okay. And um, I am going to help it along by setting this um, near my tabletop fan. But I'm going to put it back a ways. Because I, I don't want to blow all the glitter off. I just want it to help with the drying process. Okay, so with that said, let's do that and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Okay, so while the cross is drying, I have three little prima flowers here that I cut from this stem. You can buy a package of a lot of these little tiny pink prima flowers. They come in one package, but they're different shades and I found mine at Hobby Lobby. Then I'm using some stickles in the color diamond and I started to um, put some on here already. Now you're gonna see that it might look like a little much but when it dries it won't be. Now for some reason I've been having some issues with this. I'm not don't know why but see what I can do. And I just want to give it a little bit of glimmer. Now it comes. <laughs> and like I said, when it dries, it'll be really pretty. And it won't look so gloppy. Alright, so I'm going to allow this to dry. This will take a while. Because this glitter glue doesn't dry right away. And and I'll put some here and here and then I'll do the same thing with the third one. So I'll just let this dry while the cross is drying. Okay, so I'm just going to allow that to dry. And now I will tell you that I also added this bale, this pretty silver bale. They have these in the jewelry shop finding section at Hobby Lobby. And I used the Beacon Fabri Tac to glue this on with. Believe it or not, it works very well. And normally um, these are. Uh, about $3.99 for I think don't quote me but I think either I think eight of them is what they sell them in packages of now you can get these on sale a couple of times a month um, they'll go on sale for you can for $1.99 for that package and that's when I pick them up they have them in silver and gold okay so this is continuing to dry all right and we'll be back and I'll show you um, how I glue those on. And I think I'm going to get my acrylic pearls out too. And my lace. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I have this on the back of the cross. Now, you can use any lace you want. I just picked up this little um, ribbon trim. And it's, it's actually pretty cheap. I don't know where I got it. It's been a while. <laughs> But uh, that's what I'm using. And so I already cut this and I'm going to 
place this just like that. You could go all the way up to the top if you want, but this is just the way I decided to do it. And I'm going to be using the Beacon Fabri-Tac. So let me put this on. Oops, now I got sticky on my hands here. All right, I'm gonna shake it down at the bottom. I think I'm just going to place this here first, right at the end of one of the roses and the leaf, like that. In fact, you know what, I might just do it all the way down. I'm not putting a ton, but just enough to make the um, leaves and the roses stick. Okay, now let's do it. Right like that. Alright, press that around, tap it down, and then I'll just put a piece across this way too. And I already have that cut. Now I may have to do some some trimming here and here over the edge, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put some of this here. And I'm going to leave the glue off the leaves here and here so I can just trim it with my scissors without getting glue everywhere. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this like so. And then this right here. Just like that. Now, isn't that pretty? It's on the back. Okay, so that's how we fixed that. Okay. And then I'll be back. Okay, I have this on the back of the cross. Now, you can use any lace you want. I just picked up this little um, ribbon trim and it's it's actually pretty cheap I don't know where I got it it's been a while <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm using and so I already cut this and I'm going to place this just like that you could go all the way up to the top if you want but this is just the way I decided to do it and I'm going to be using the Beacon Fabri-Tac so let me put this on. Oops, now I got sticky on my hands here. All right, I'm gonna shake it down at the bottom. I think I'm just going to place this here first, right at the end of one of the roses and the leaf, like that. In fact, you know what? I might just do it all the way down. I'm not putting a ton, but just enough to make the um, leaves and the roses stick. Okay. Now let's do it. that. All right. Press that around, tap it down, and then I'll just put a piece across this way too. And I already have that cut. Now I may have to do some some trimming here and here over the edge, but that's okay. So 
I'm just going to put some of this here. And I'm going to leave the glue off the leaves here and here so I can just trim it with my scissors without getting glue everywhere. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this like so. And then this right here. Just like that. Now, isn't that pretty? It's on the back. Okay, so that's how we fixed that. Okay. And then I'll be back. Okay, so we have our beautiful little cross. You can see how pretty it is. And it's stiff. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this leaf trim. Now, I purchased this at Hobby Lobby for um, $1.99. Twice a month, they have all trims and um, spools and tool on sale for half off, okay? And it has, it's, this looks silver, but it almost has a rainbow effect to it when you turn it. I don't know if you can see it. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is glue this right across like so. So let me grab some scissors. I'm just going to cut this right here for now. And I'm going to use my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. And just going to put a little bit on the back of each leaf and I think that will do it. Oh my goodness. This is slow coming out. Okay. There we go. I actually need a New bottle of this. This is getting kind of thick. All right. Um, so let me place this right here. Okay. Now what's sticking up here, I'm just going to snip off. Okay. Drop that one. Just like this. Alright. So now let's put this aside. You can also find these silver leaves and gold at the 99 cent store in the party section. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to glue across are these tiny little roses, and you can see that the stickles have dried and gave it just a little touch of glitter and I'm just going to kind of squish the petals together like that just like that and like that and then once again Take this glue, place this right in the middle, and then here, just putting a, a dab on here. going to add some pearls here. I kind of have an idea of the colors. I'm just not exactly positive where 
I'm going to place them around the roses. So let me go ahead and um, figure that out so I won't bore you on camera. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so I started out looking at these different color pearls that I have. And the pinks didn't really go well with this because this is more of a peachy pink. And the blues were okay, but not great. Kind of blended in with a cross. So I decided to go with um, the plain old 8mm white Dollar General pearls. And um, so I'm going to start by placing these on. I don't know exactly where I'm going to place them. I'm going to use the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. I pulled that right off there. And I'm just going to begin by placing things like this, just here and there, and then kind of figure it out as I go. I think maybe right here. Turn it to the side. I should get some no hole pearls, then I wouldn't have to worry about where the hole was. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be best. Maybe like a triangle, huh? Thank you for your patience. I know this is not easy to sit there and wait while I'm making up my mind. <laughs> All right, let me shake this down a little bit. There, it's a little better. So let's see if I can push these together. Now I'm going to take this one off and redo it. I'm going to lift up one of the petals here. I think that's what's blocking it. Okay. All right. Honey, I, I'm doing a tutorial. When I watch, I'm, I'm just going to sit here in the back. Just so quiet. I just want to lay in. Okay. It's my grandson, Isaiah, that came in. He sometimes likes to come and visit me and just lay on my bed and talk. <laughs> He's waiting for me to finish this tutorial. Okay. So, not too bad. Hmm? Okay, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I did cut a couple leaves from this stem here. And I put some glue on the back of it right here and just right here at the bottom part. I didn't put glue on the back of the this part hanging over here. And I thought it needed one more leaf over here, so I cut this little leaf and I'm going to glue it right about there. I just really felt like it needed that to give it some balance. And these leaves are wonderful things to do that with. Um, it really helps a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to add just glue at this bottom part here. Don't need any glue that's sticking off the edges there. Okay. And I think it turned out just perfect. So I hope you really enjoy this video and um, you try to make some yourself. I'm going to put some sparkly blue ribbon up here. Let me do that real quick before I leave. Okay, so I cut about 17 inches of 
sparkly one fourth of an inch wide ribbon and I just tied it in a bow right here, just slipped it right through the bale. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it turned out really nice and I think this would make a beautiful addition to your um, Christmas tree. So with that said, you take care and God bless each and every one of you and thank you so much for sticking with me while I do this. Now be sure to check each week. I'll be posting either on a Friday or a Saturday of every week from now through Christmas. So take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye.